That was Suzanne Lemignon reporting Evans plans to carry out more acts of kindness through Christmas. Leach says she and her family will continue surprising unsuspecting cashiers at their local Target with gift cards ranging from $50 to $100 in the weeks leading up to Christmas. Bless their hearts. We'll find local news updates anytime on our digital streaming network, CBS in Chicago. You can stream it on CBSChicago.com or on any of your devices. Your news here at 6 starts right now. In less than 10 months, COVID-19 has killed more people than strokes, suicides, and car crashes typically do in a full year combined. And in a week out from Thanksgiving, health officials have some serious concerns. Breaking news this morning, court cars torched in the middle of the night. Neighbors heard the commotion and came out to find their cars set ablaze. And we will feel temperatures in the mid-60s today. Can you believe it? But don't expect these warmer temperatures to hang out with us through the weekend. Thanks for being with us. Good morning to you. I'm Audrey Nabigas. And I'm Ryan Baker. Meteorologist Rob Ellis is tracking a wind advisory that kicks in in just a couple of hours. Yeah, warm and windy today. I think temperatures are going to be the warmest today of our entire forecast. But it does come with those breezy or gusty conditions. That's what's helping to warm us up, 40s and 50s currently. The winds currently are gusting 30 to almost 40 miles per hour now for Gary. It's one of the higher numbers we've seen so far this morning. I think as the sun comes up and we start to move the atmosphere a little bit more, it starts to warm up the atmosphere. I think we're going to see these gusts get a little bit higher, likely up over 40 miles per hour. Most of our computer models holding the t uh, winds in the 30 to 40 mile per hour range, and that's why we do have that wind advisory that's going to go until this afternoon. Winds will calm down after that. Well, they'll, they'll let up a little bit, I should say, before they switch to the north and west, but I I think that's why we have the advisory only until 4 p.m. Uh, for uh, this uh, wind gust again to maybe 40 miles per hour. Haven't seen the gust as high as perhaps we were thinking as some of the models were spitting out and that's a bit of good news. But look what it does to our temperatures. You get 65 for today. It is the warmest day of our forecast and there's a cool down for the weekend. But I've also made some changes to the weekend forecast. I'll show you coming up. Well, people woke up to something crazy this morning, and that's our top story. Several vehicles set on fire, all on the same suburban street. CBS 2's Mugo Digwe joins us live in Calumet Park, just south of the city, to tell us what someone who heard this happening had to say. Mugo. Yeah, good morning. So three of the four cars that were damaged have been towed. But if you look behind me, there's still that one left out here is this white car. And you can see much of the front end of this car is burned. Now, take a look at this video from our nonstop news crews because it shows what things looked like earlier.